Hi guys, uh, so excuse the mess, first of all, just been out on the bike, just got back. I want to do something a bit different today, you'll have to excuse the dog as well, because I'm being attacked by a very brown spring spaniel. So, I thought I'd do something different today while I was out on the bike, and, get over, got you a little bit of a tips video today on what to do if you're coming to any injuries when you're out on the bike mainly cramp i want to focus on today okay it's something that's happened to quite a lot of us you know i've seen it happen to guys while i've been out riding um it's happened to me while i've been doing other things other than riding but uh it's not nice when you're out on the trails you get a bit of cramp so what do we do first of all if you're out with a mate you know when you get a severe case of cramp your leg seizes up you feel like you can't move it if you're out with a friend get them to stretch it off so if you get cramp in your hamstring lie on the back flat on the floor get your friend to get your legs straight and then basically all you're going to do is just raise that leg up to a 90 degree angle with your hip so it looks a little bit like that okay if you're on your own you obviously you can't do that so what you're going to do if you're on your own you're going to have to massage that muscle okay now it doesn't take someone who needs to be a, a professional masseuse to do this you don't need to be a, a full-on massage expert to get that right you basically want to be working that muscle enough to uh, get some blood flow in there and to to get that muscle sort of relaxed and, and to stop it from really seizing up nice and tight okay sit down so what you're going to do got a quick sort of little video on how you're going to do that we're going to pretend we've got it in our quads which is where most of us will get it while we're riding it's very quad dominant riding the mountain bike so looking at the quad here all you're going to do is just work that muscle just like that onto your quads okay so you're just rubbing it in getting some blood flow in there and just nice and steady you don't need to push on too hard just a little bit of pressure just like you're holding a, a bottle of beer and just nice and steady just work that muscle in and you should start to feel that cramp easing off very often guys when you do get cramp uh, it will return quite quickly so it should be a case of you know you've got it you've massaged it out and then it cramps up again really quickly just massage it again once you've got some movement in that muscle then start moving it around okay start moving it around have a bit of a walk have a stroll around and then start doing some stretches with it um, to stretch it off and then that should be the end of the problem you can prevent cramp um well prevent cramp i say that you can lessen the potential of getting cramp while you're out there on the bike by drinking things like electrolytes you know making sure you've got a decent amount of salt in your body don't overdo it you don't have to sort of put salt on all of your food but make sure you're eating a nice diet a good clean diet that's got a decent amount of salt in there so you're not getting your muscles starved um and your electrolytes that you can pop in your water whether it's your hydration pack or your water bottle you can see on my bike i've got a water bottle on it at the minute i keep the water bottle on there if i'm only doing a ride of less than 20 miles if i'm doing any more than 20 miles i'll stick the the big hydration pack on the backpack and uh, and i'll wear that and i find that gives me enough water to go by either one you can chuck your electrolytes in there it'll do you some good you'll lessen the potential of getting your cramp um, and you'll feel a lot better on the bike as well as that you'll have more energy and you'll you'll go sort of a lot further without feeling too hungry with that so there you go a few quick tips on what to do if you get cramped while you're out there on the bike we're going to go back to training next week so if you've got any questions regarding training on the bike feel free to fire them at me in the comments below any suggestions on what you want to see i want to do a few videos on advanced um trainers as well as beginner trainers as well because there's quite a lot of people in this group so i want to cater for all areas so we'll probably do some advanced tips next week i hope you enjoyed the video guys hope you have a great weekend good luck out there with your riding and i'll see you soon thank you bye bye